Hi guys, welcome back to New Dram Drinker. Another review video for you. Do you want to know what we're reviewing today? Let's have a look. So this is the Firkin. The Firkin 10 Limited Edition Single Cask Madeira. Easy for you to say. No, it wasn't actually. <laughs> I was waiting for you to go wrong. Yeah, I've given up trying to remember them. I'm just going to read them. <laughs> I was on about the fucking bit. <laughs> um, this was a gift over Christmas from Ed from Top Whiskies. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to trying it. We hadn't really had much experience of Firkin. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm going to yeah, carry on. Yeah. I've never had much experience with Firkin before. Um, especially together so um we i can see the tone of this to... video going downhill <laughs> <laughs> we were looking forward to trying it together, together. so uh, we will get on to the bottle no okay so the firkin bottle can i talk about this first Oh, go for it then. Go because on. I'm going to say I love this bottle and do you know why because you don't quite know what you're getting when this first came I'm just sitting at the back you when on. this came I genuinely hand on my heart thought this was an Indian whiskey because just of this lovely it's almost like embossed metallic um label and I just thought the writing just seemed exotic it was all it just gave me all of those thoughts that it was an Indian whiskey mm, and I can and, see where you're coming yeah, from with that to th there was something there's something really lovely yeah. the other thing I really like is their sort of tagline is rare and downright drinkable that <laughs> sounds like my kind of whiskey <laughs> and it's kind of telling you exactly what they think isn't it it's, it, it's just fun you know? it, there's a there's a whole fun element here but very classy as well I mean mm. you know it, it looks a nice bottle yeah. but can you see what I mean by uh, I no. I thought it was, there was an oriental sort of feel I about it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a close-up if you can see. It's like, I was saying it's like a straw colour. Nicola reckons it's a bit more golden than that. So I'm going to settle on a straw field on a golden sunny day. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> From me to halfway, shall yeah, we? Yeah. Mix the two together. Um, we had a look on the website to see if it's coloured or not. We couldn't find any. It doesn't mention it. So we're not 100% sure, but it is a nice colour either way. So on the nose, Anthony got sour apple sweets, melon and sugar. I got... Soft and subtle, nothing overpowering, but dried fruits and powdered icing sugar. Okay, so going back in on the nose, just to kind of flesh it out a little bit, let's uh, see what we think, shall we? What do you uh, get? I'm going to be honest, I found this really hard to nose in the week. There's nothing overpowering here. It's all quite soft and light. And I did really struggle to pull mm. some, some, some things out, so yeah. Powdered icing sugar, but it's not a sweet whiskey. There's nothing sweet here. So some of the fruity notes, I think, were... We got very different notes, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, but, I'm still getting the white fruits. Yeah. But I, but I understand. I didn't get the white fruits, but I understand when you said it was a sour mm. apple. There is a... Yeah. It's not sweet, and there is almost like a sour note or a bitter note. I don't it quite know what it is. Once yeah. I'd settled on the sour apple sweets... Mm. that I used to have as a kid. Yeah. Um, I found it very hard then to find anything else. Yeah. That was kind of the overriding yeah. note. Um, and it was almost like my brain shut down yeah. on being able to yeah. pick anything else out. I, I did really struggle with this on the nose. I think it's honest. just basically just a... just a basic nose. It's, yeah. it's, not, yeah. it's not overly complex. It's nice. Yeah. It's not kind of asking you to nose it for days on end, you know, yeah. it's just, it's, it's just, not it is what it is, it's yeah. there, that the ABV isn't present on the nose much, no. it's just fruity and I felt like I was having to minimal. think of what it was, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it, you, wasn't, it wasn't showing yeah, me Yeah, I think sometimes when you get a whiskey that you can't pull that yeah. out of, you almost try too hard then, yeah. and you can start to, to pull things yeah. out that you're just guessing at. Yeah. So I think sometimes if that if you've got what you've got and it's two things, just go with it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what it is, that, yeah. that's all you're going to get. You're not impressing anybody by 
pretending to no. get more than you are. So shall we? Uh... We shall stop, not pretending, <laughs> and move on to the palette. Anthony's palette notes: cold, creamy, dirt or vegetal, a little bit of spice, a cider note, and it's quite summery. Nikki's notes, creamy, rich, subtle spicy note, dates or treacle, wood and a slight herbaceous note. What are your thoughts now? I am still getting that kind of vegetal note. It's a nice dram. Mm. It's a lot more um complex on the palate than it is yeah. on the nose there's a lot of flavors there yeah, yeah i'm gonna have to um dig in a little deeper yeah. i think just to pick them it, for me it's not as sweet as i thought it would be and maybe because i was putting madeira in the same bracket as sherry so i think i thought i would get all the usual and maybe that's why i'm struggling a little bit for me it isn't sweet and there is a but you know when I said you said dirt and I said herbaceous, I was thinking maybe like heather. You know, there's a herby note, but it is slightly floral, mm. but it's not sweet. Yeah. I don't find this sweet at all. I'm almost thinking that it's like a. I'm almost edging towards some berries now. Okay. In a rich kind of berry note, mm. but maybe on like a on a, a a bush that's been cut off mm -hmm. and it's yeah you know, been cut off and it's it's mm -hmm. it's dying a little bit yeah. so you've got that kind of mm -hmm. compo compost kind of yeah. note but there's that fruity yeah sweet edge to it as well because yeah. there's definitely a funk yeah in the glass yeah and i i, I think it's like a a, a rotting it sounds bad doesn't no, it no, but no, like no, a, yeah. like a dirt. vegetal dirt yeah. rotting kind of note yeah but it's a pleasant note yeah and there is a floral element to it. I'm fi I found when you said berries, as I took a sip, I almost could smell the berries, mm. but I couldn't taste them. Mm. So it, there is a fruit note, but it, it's not sweet. It's not a sugary sweet. It's it's quite um, it's quite a subtle whiskey actually. I think this could be one that I, I don't smoke cigars, but in my head I have this image of people who smoke cigars, mm. and you know you just have these waves, yeah, like soft and yeah. subtle whiskies. Yeah, it's, it's a different experience that mm. I've ever had before. Like, And it's not awful. We're making yeah. it sound maybe we're not enjoying it. We are. It's just, you know, sometimes you have a whiskey that makes you really, like, level up. Mm. I've got to really think about this whiskey. I'm thinking air is helping this a okay. lot. Okay. Because this yeah. seems to be, either my palate's getting used to it. Yeah. Or it's opening up with okay. the air because I, this is getting a lot more Moorish. Okay. The longer we and maybe when we drank it before, it I wasn't like that. Enjoy this, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it is really nice. I don't think it's one I would naturally reach to. I feel like this is one of those whiskies that is testing me. I feel like it's it, gonna say that. It's, 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 it's making me really yeah, think, yeah, and having to think quite hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm, having, I'm having to really fucking think about it. <laughs> <laughs> See what he did there. Oh, we missed a trick. We should have got a few more firkins in. <laughs> I don't love that on camera, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it's a decent drum, mm. to be honest. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's a good shout. Hi, Ed. It's interesting, and I like that. I That's like that in the sense of... Me. I genuinely yeah. feel like I am learning. You know, when you have an experience where you think, this is really making yeah. me think, and I'm having to think about my vocabulary and think about what flavours I'm getting... Mm. And then trying to communicate that. I think I'm struggling to put it into words, yeah. what I'm getting a little bit. I would say that this whiskey is a good one to um, revisit yeah, in maybe. like a year's time when your palate's yes, evolved. Maybe. Because I think it's definitely one of those yeah. ones where you will get more yes. as you your palate yes. evolves. Or if I had one of those flavour wheels in front of me, maybe. You know, yeah. you might... I'm, there's always the power of suggestion, isn't there? But maybe that would help me put into words yeah, yeah. what I'm getting. Because when I said fruits, I said dates, like dates and treacle, because it's not like raisins and currants, and it's not the flavours I'm used to, yeah. but there's a similarity. Yeah. 
but I am having to really like pull these thoughts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. It's crack in dram though. It's it's interesting, yeah. isn't it? That yeah. we're mm. and I like that we had different notes because mm. again, this is one of those whiskies we would sit and you know back and mm. forth and just have but a bit I suppose of chat. That you kind of there's two ways you've got to evolve, it, isn't there? That you've got to evolve your palate to be able to pick up the notes, mm. but you've also got to evolve your vocabulary. Absolutely. And I think that's what I'm struggling with today. Get it across. Yeah. So like you've got it's not just you can taste all the flavours in the world. If you yeah. can't vocalise no. what it is no. that you're getting, yeah. then it doesn't yeah. matter, does it? And when you get that flavour you go, There is a flavour there that I know. Mm. There is That's the thing, yeah, yeah and that's yeah. what you've got to grow, isn't mm. it? You've and I think you and I are to... both dancing around the dirt, the vegetal, the herbaceous, but yeah. I don't think we've kind of nailed it yet. Well I think it's very similar to my saying silly to kind of yeah, make them equate them to each other, but when I used to go to the gym and I used to do some weights and things like that, there was always this thing of muscle memory and it was mind to muscle connection that you had to have to kind of, it was kind of one of the main things of knowing what your muscles were telling you and things like that. And I imagine it's very similar to that. It's mm. almost nose and mouth yeah. to brain yeah. connection that you've mm. got to strengthen to mm. be able to kind of yeah. get this thing yeah. working yeah. to enjoy your whiskey yeah. at the best. And I think you just get better at it. I love that we're even having this conversation because two years ago, I couldn't do this. Yeah. Two years ago, whiskey all tasted like whiskey to me. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's fabulous, really fabulous. On the finish, Anthony said it's short, spicy and fruity, but less so than the palate. I said it was warm and spicy, medium long with a fruity sweetness. Back in on the finish, um, like our notes said, it is a medium finish, I would say. Yeah. It's, I personally said it was short, but I was kind of leading towards medium, yeah. and once Nicola said medium, we kind of both. It's, it's kind that of little enough. spicy warmth. Yeah, it's not a long. Si no, 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 no. Um, finish by any stretch. But it's not short. It doesn't end. Yeah, it's that spicy warmth. I think my thing with I've, I've said this before. I think my finish, I only equate it to a long finish if all of the flavours are present for mm -hmm. that length. If it's a bit fruity, then just goes to the kind of spices and fades out. I don't really class that as the length because I think it should be the all of that kind of... You put of... loads of thought into your finish, don't you? I do. No, I do. Short means it, you taste it and it ends. That's short. <laughs> Long is one of those finishes that lingers forever. Anything else in the middle is medium. So, I, so it's still there. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm uh, reading too much into it. But I just, I don't, I, I class it's my the finishes for me. on... Yeah. That how long all of the flavours hung yeah, around for? Yeah. Not, yeah, not. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the way. I, I wouldn't say all of the flavours hung around for me on this. It was that spicy warmthness, and it was there was a fruity sweetness at the end. Yeah. It was it was it was very nice. Yeah. Nothing to scream about, but it wasn't awful either. It was I, just carried yeah, on. I mean, again, like I've said yeah. before, at the end of the day, I finish it, and the finish ends, mm -hmm. and I do want to have another drink. Mm -hmm. So that is. What yeah. the finish should yeah. do, really, in my yeah. opinion. You know, you finish your Delightful. dram, do you want another one, or are you going to pick another bottle? If you yeah. want to have another one of that whiskey, it's done everything right, hasn't it? Yeah. So that, that to me is how my head works. And this is nearly gone, and I want another one. So fair play to it. That's the finish in a nutshell. Medium and good. So our conclusion, we tried to write one, but we couldn't come up with anything any better than what they've put on the back of the bottle. So I'm going to read it to you. There's a time when you need a dram, whether you have had a hell of a day, you want time for reflection or simply to get over the jet lag. This is just the Firkin solution. Bright, lively, with a pantry full of kitchen spice. This will enliven and intrigue you and it hangs around to remind you that life is so Firkin good. So there you go. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Can't say any better, so why try? Yeah. Um, but we still need to award it, and I think they kind of say it, it up. in the uh, in the right up there, don't they? Yeah. 
So what is it? It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. And it is, it's well worth it. Um, seek it out, have a look, see if you can get it. I know, like I said, it, Top Risky's um, sent it to us. So they've got it for sale on their website. It's not a plug, didn't ask us to do it, but no. they sent it to us. Which is we enjoyed it enough to review it. So, so. Um, we thank Ed for that. Yeah. And uh, take, yeah, take a look. And uh, if you're uh, one of our certified originals, we get 10% off on the website as well. So it's worth joining up for that, mm. isn't it? Because it's free to join. So you save 10% for nothing. Do it. Sign up now. Uh, so shameless plug. Shameless plug. It's our, it's our channel. We can do it, can't we? we yeah. You know, if we can do it anywhere, we can do it on our own channel. So uh, thank you for watching. It's been a lovely, lovely video. Nice, yeah, you yeah. enjoyed it? Yeah, good. Good. See thank you, you soon. So much. See you soon. Just one last thing before we go. If you watch us on social media, you will notice that we have a members club called the Certified Originals, where we're starting to raise funds for Myeloma UK to help a member of ours out. Um, if you'd like to help out or get involved, please sign up to be a member of our free members club and all the information you need to help to join in with the auctions, raffles. We've got loads of really good gifts that people have sent us. I think you'll be really happy if you can get any of them. And they're not all expensive. There's some cheap things as well. So I don't think it's going to cost you a fortune. We would just like to have you along for the ride, help raise some money and just see what we can do as a group of people coming together to help raise funds. So head on over to the website and sign up and then we can move forward from there. Thanks for your time and have a great week.